Money, 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 money. Money! And then explains how to stop impulse buying. Now guys, we've all done this before. We've all bought stuff on a whim, on impulse, and without thinking about it. Give me 700 Krusty Burger! And more often than not, this results in us having a house full of crap that we just don't need. Now, not only is this a problem to your wallet and finances, but it's a dirty emotional habit that I want you guys to get out of. Otherwise, you'll be swimming in debt. So why do people buy on impulse? Impulse spending, believe it or not, is an emotional thing. Buying things is something that us humans do to fill a void somewhere. People attach happiness and self-worth with buying things. We hope to be healthier, happier, sexier, etc. And more often than not, this isn't the case. Oh my God, girlfriend, I got these on sale. I know my ass doesn't fit in them at the moment, but I can lose weight. Hell, my ass is gonna look good in this, girlfriend. This example also shows that our brains try and justify us actually spending the money. But the problem is, it doesn't matter what you buy, because no amount of stuff that you buy will ever fill that void. It's an emotional habit, and it's one that you can control using the following technique. Go on then, Nin. How do I stop impulse buying? Before you buy anything, I want you to ask yourself three questions. And those three questions are, number one, do I really need it? Number two, can I really afford it? And number three, is this the cheapest place I can get it? Now, most of you will answer no immediately to the first one. And that's because it's something that you actually want rather than something you need. Some of you will answer no to the second question. If you have to borrow money, if you have to spend it on a credit card, or if you realistically can't afford it, then obviously the answer is no. And thirdly, this is to save you money just in case you answer yes to the other two. Is this the cheapest place that you can find it? If the answer is no, walk away, delay it, find it cheaper somewhere else. If you answer no to any of these three questions, then don't buy it. Don't even think about it. For the love of God, don't buy it. Walk away. But if the answer is yes to all three of those questions, then yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and buy it. You probably need it. You can probably afford it. And it's the cheapest place you can find it. Go ahead and buy it. Now, you're going to need some self-discipline here as you're going to have to be completely honest by answering all three questions. And if you do answer no to any of them, just remember, no means no. And hey guys, I want you to get into your mind the positives of not spending your hard-earned cash. Maybe you can save up that money to buy something you actually need, like a lovely house, a nice car, and that awesome holiday that you always wanted to go on. I want you to feel good about saving money as opposed to feeling good about spending it. And when you use this technique, it will cut your spending pretty much almost immediately if you're disciplined with it. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things. And admittedly, guys, it's been a bit of a rocky road for my YouTube career so far. Um, seem to be losing more subscribers than I'm getting. But hopefully, with your support, that number will go up. You'll shortly be able to download my free ebook right here. And also, um, if you do want to share this via any social media outlets, my usernames are right there. Let me know how you get on. If you tried this, if you've got a question, comment on the comment section below. And remember, when you're in doubt, just remember two things. Number one, no means no. And number two, Oh my God, girlfriend, I just bought these on sale. I mean, I know my ass is too big for them at the moment, but I could always lose weight. <laughs> I have them upside down. Seriously, how do women wear these things? I mean, I can barely breathe in it. Help.